This week we receive a special delivery to our remote island and discover there are more ways than one to battle the Indian Ocean. In the last four years since leaving England, we have crossed two oceans and sailed over halfway around the world. Just 18 miles south of the equator, on a remote island only accessible by boat, we're waiting out the Indonesian lockdown and global pandemic with nine other yachts for company. After months here in isolation on this remote island, days of the week no longer have any meaning, with very little to tell between them. Each day rolls into the next. Nothing much changes. Apart from one day, food boat day. So little going on, the food has become a more important part of our lives. We're very lucky that each week we're able to receive a delivery of fresh basic groceries by boat from an island 18 miles away. With Indonesia's borders shut, all the surf resorts are closed. Mr Liang's business used to supply those surf resorts with food by boat. Now we are his only customers. Although we had enough food on board for a few months at sea as we were planning to cross the Indian Ocean, without Mr Liang and his team we'd have had no access to fresh food for months. So we're very grateful that he's providing this vital service to us. We give a written list each week for delivery the following week. Bottle. Yeah. Bottle. And sauce, yeah. yeah. Sauce. Chili. Chili sauce. Yeah. Right, it's time to get those veggies out of the tropical sun. We haven't been to a supermarket for months, but in actual fact we're eating better now than we would have been if we were at sea or in our usual cruising from remote place to remote place. Because of this weekly food order, we're getting the same vegetables, fruit and vegetables every week because we're limited to what's available in the islands, but we're getting fruit and vegetables every single week. And normally we get it when we're out cruising, we don't visit a shop for up to a month at a time or even longer. Yeah, sometimes it depends on, on where there are markets and how easy it is to leave the boat and go ashore and, and find somewhere where you can get food. Um, so yeah, this is, a, this is a real treat, real luxury. We can get basics like flour and even now frozen chicken, so we have a roast dinner every week. But simple things like dried beans and lentils just aren't available here for some reason. You've got to be quite careful what you order though because we don't know the prices in advance and things that you'd expect to be cheap like a can of beans are actually five Australian dollars so about three pounds per tin. That does mean that our food costs have gone up quite dramatically uh, despite being in a low-cost country of Indonesia because we're having to pay for delivery and higher prices because we are remote our costs are higher now than what we used to spend in the UK before we left and higher than the average we've been spending in the years that we've been cruising. As soon as we get the food on board, we disinfect everything and get rid of the cardboard. And that's mainly to get rid of bugs because they love cardboard and things like this part of the pineapple. 
but it also means that we save water because I've only got to wash everything once rather than running the tap every time we maybe want to wash for one apple. It reduces the risk of COVID and it also means that everything's clean and it lasts longer. Sometimes shopping like this can lead to a little confusion. Ma'am, can you explain this powder? <laughs> no, I cannot. <laughs> it's in an unsealed bag. Did you pack it yourself? No, I have no idea what it is. It's not mine. <laughs> Good job we're not going back into Australia. Customers would have a field day. This is one of the many joys of shopping uh, when you're in a foreign country and especially shopping in a foreign country when you're not allowed to go to the shops yourself. <laughs> we ordered um, two kilos of milk powder and got returned what we thought think looks like milk powder. It's not in a sealed packet but yeah, that's kind of always the way things are in the shops here. <laughs> and then I go to mix up the amount that I need for yogurt and it's bright yellow. So we're then trying to work out what it is and try to taste the powder. Is it sugar? It tastes a bit sugary. What could it possibly be? And eventually we work out, we think it's actually... We think custard powder, possibly. So we might have two kilos of custard powder. Tastes quite a lot like custard. <laughs> Possibly. It's definitely not milk. <laughs> custard powder, which in order to make up, you need milk. <laughs> I normally use powdered milk to make our own pot set yoghurt, which we can also strain and mix with garlic and herbs to create a cream cheese which is delicious on crackers. Because tinned goods and dried food is much more expensive here, we've actually been limiting our use of those things just so that if the opportunity does come to cross the Indian Ocean, we'll have those things still available. So I do a regular stock tape of the boat to try and assess really what we need to ration and the foods that we need to limit. It's a bit sad when you're rationing things like baked beans and sliced beetroot. When we're living in remote places like this, or even when we're at sea, we normally have to ration our food to make sure that we don't run out of something because when it's gone, it's gone. But unfortunately, as well as baked beans and beetroot, that also means the nicer things in life. So we ran out of alcohol months ago. We're down to our last block of cheese, despite rationing that pretty severely. And we've got two blocks of chocolate. I actually hid these so well at the start of the year that I couldn't find them on either of our birthdays so um, I guess I'll put them back into hiding and save them for Christmas. Although it's really painful to run out of those nice things to start with, we do find that the longer that we do without them the less we feel that we really need them. And also we're in such a beautiful location that it doesn't really matter. This part of Indonesia is famous for surfing. We've been here for four months now and we've been looking out of the waves just wishing that we could get out there. But we've had two major problems. The first one, that we don't have a surfboard and the second, that we can't even surf. However, this week's food boat brought us a special delivery which has changed our life here in Isolation Bay. Recently we've been asking around to see if there are any second-hand surfboards available and finally this one arrived as a special delivery with the weekly food boat. So that's problem number one solved. Problem number two, we have to deal with ourselves.
This beach has changed hugely in the time that we've been here. It used to be a big sandy expanse, but a big storm came through and washed away most of the sand along with some of the trees. And now we're just left with one small patch where there's still sand between sections of reef. And that patch is the only bit suitable for us to learn to surf in. Right, you've had your fun, now it's my turn. The large Indian Ocean swell usually brings pro surfers lining up for the big breaks of the Nias, Tello and Mentawai Islands. But the country is closed, leaving us to try and teach ourselves in the smallest, safest breaks we can find. This board's had a pretty tough life. We think it's been snapped in half at least twice and repaired. We're really enjoying using it, but it's uh, leaking. So. We've got a couple of cracks we found here, so just ground them out and shove some epoxy in it and try and extend its life a little bit so we can have some more fun with it. We drained the water out of it and now we just need to put the epoxy on. He's had a hard life, our surfboard. We've named him Patch for obvious reasons and he's been a gift in more ways than one. He was actually given to us by Mr Liang who owns the business that runs the food boat deliveries. And he's also given us, as well as a surfboard, a new lease of life for living here in this bay. Who knows, if we stopped here long enough before the borders open, we might be able to make it to some of the famous waves along this coast. Now, instead of every day dragging on the same as the next, we find ourselves rushing to get our chores done in the morning so we can then go and surf in the afternoons. Need a bit more practice before we try the big waves though. Well, it was a lot of fun whilst it lasted, but we knew that it was a repaired board and you could hear bits rattling around inside it, so we knew it wasn't going to last. But we're actually really sad. We'd actually given the board a name, Patch. We'd really come to love it. It'd given us a whole new lease of life here. Um, so I guess what we have learned is that we really enjoy surfing and we need to get another board. Just when we were feeling a bit down, along came a treat to cheer us up. It turns out Mr Liang isn't the only source of food here in Isolation Bay. So we were just trying to decide what to have for dinner and then one of the local fishermen came alongside and said, would you like to buy a couple of lobster? Yes, please. So this is dinner. Spiny lobster. Lobster tends to work a bit like a barbecue on Florence in that I do the rest of the food and the washing up. I want to put a pan on for the lobster, Aww. and and Matt does the lobster. Man duties, do the meat. <laughs> so Matt's cooked the dinner. <laughs> Hi, 
Careful with the cheese. There's a lot to be said for life here in Isolation Bay. Now we just need to find another surfboard. How is it? That's good. Delicious. One of the questions we get asked the most is all about our sailing, nesting, rowing dinghy here. So in the next video, we're going to show you all about our dinghy. We'd like to thank everybody who supports the making of these videos, especially our star patrons. Thanks for watching, we really enjoy reading your comments and if you'd like to join the crew to support these videos you can follow the link to our Patreon site. And don't forget to subscribe to make sure you catch the next one.